So you might be trying to figure out how you can change your font inside of your Android device. Now, doing this is actually very basic. There's not really anything super hard to do in this particular case, but it can be a little bit different per device that you're getting. Now, if you just want to go and change your font, like your stock font, what you can actually do is make your way over to your settings application of your any Android phone that you have, Samsung Galaxy, you name it, you can go and do it. You want to make your way over into this page, and you all you want to do is you want to click on the search bar right at the very top, and you want to go and search up something like font. So you can just go and search up font just like this, and you should be able to find this particular page that comes up right here. Now, what you want to do under font size and style, what you can do is you can tap on font size and style. And what you're going to do here is you can literally just go ahead and find that little font size you know, option, which is right here. You can go and tap on font style, and you should be able to change your stock font within this particular page. So like I said, this is pretty basic. You just tap on the font that you want. And then we'll go and change it, you know, system wide. And most Android phones have a font manager inside of it, so you should be able to do this natively. There should be also like maybe like a font store if you're lucky, like Samsung's have it. And you can download a new font and you can change it from here, which is another really cool thing that you have the capability of doing right there as well. Now you can always download a third-party application to change your font as well. If for some reason that's not working, Z Font 3 is one of those ones that you are able to go and kind of you know download and kind of mess with on your phone. You don't really need a root to do it, but it is very annoying. As you can see, there's like ads every 10 seconds. But regardless of that, it's a pretty decent app, and you can go ahead and use this app to change your font as well. If there's some custom font that you want to download and install, you can always use an application like this to basically do that with you. So that's basically how it's done. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That helps me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video.